An old woman was going through a time of great doubt about the existence of God and the resurrection. In desperation, she went to a priest for help. She expected some convincing arguments to prove to her, beyond all doubt, that Jesus came back from the dead. However, she was very surprised when the priest did not take this line at all. His advice was very simple. He told her to go out and begin to do specific acts of love and kindness for the people in her life and she would begin to see things differently. She followed his advice and in no time at all her doubts about the resurrection and the existence of God completely disappeared. The resurrection of Jesus is an event which no one witnessed, no one saw what actually took place. All they were confronted with was an empty tomb. But far more important than these post-resurrection appearances of Jesus to various individuals like Mary Magdalene and Peter and the other apostles, people who had a special place for him in their hearts. You will notice that Jesus never appeared to Herod or Annas, the high priest, or Caiaphas, who wanted him out of the way. In the same way, Jesus didn't come down from the cross when his enemies mockingly challenged him to do so. A personal faith in the resurrection of Jesus does not happen instantly. It has to be woven into the fabric of life. That was the priest's advice to the woman struggling to believe. We have to live the gospel before we can get to know the person behind the words. St. John says, Anyone who says, I know him and love him, and does not live the gospel is a liar. We will never know how to swim by merely reading manuals on it. We have to put the book down and get right into the water. We will never learn how to ride a bike without falling off it a few times. I will never witness to the resurrection unless my intentions are motivated by love. We learn to love by loving others as Jesus asked us to do at the Last Supper. Love one another, he said, as I have loved you. Saint Mother Trees of Calcutta said that the greatest hunger in this world is not for food, but for love. If we, if we can go some way in satisfying that hunger in the world, then our doubts about the resurrection begin to dissolve. But it has to be the bread and butter of everyday life. That's why I'm always a bit dubious about people chasing after extraordinary signs and wonders in their religion to prop up their faith. Jesus said, it's the faithless generation which asks for a sign. Even in today's gospel, Jesus, after coming back from the dead, wanted to appear as normal as possible by eating grilled fish before their very eyes and showing the apostles his wounds, thereby demonstrating that he was a real flesh and blood person, not a ghost or some imaginary figure. So then, in our daily round, let us be the feet, the hands, the eyes and the ears of Jesus, bringing the power of his resurrection to those open to receive it. After all, we are Easter people, proud to be at the service of our risen Lord. Thank you for watching and God bless you all.